I'm Joshua Harrison. I'm Jamie Harrison. This is June. She's our oldest. Our middle is <laughs> Jesse. And our newest addition is baby James. And we are the Harrisons. Yeah. <laughs> when we moved out here from Dallas about almost three years ago, it was at a trying time in our marriage. So, you know, to be able to overcome that and, and for Compass to, to be a light for us to, to fight for our marriage was, was key. And uh, we are glad to be a part of Compass. My husband, when he decided to get baptized, I could feel just a difference of him in the household. He was just more at peace with himself. And he was just talking about Jesus a lot and explaining how important it is for us and our kids because we've got a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and now our newborn. And I was very, a little bit more against it. I did a lot of research for about six months. I was on the fence about it and then finally decided, I'm, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So <laughs> I'm very glad that I did because it just makes, it makes you feel um, more at peace and there's you have some someone and something so important to idolize rather than, you know, things that just, just aren't as important. I, I truly believe in, uh, you know, having a servant's heart and, and giving back what you can. And over the course of the last year to two years, I mean, I've really been um, about it. We started out with not really anything. And my husband and I, before we had kids, before we got married, we were living on an air mattress in a one bedroom apartment, not sure how we were gonna make ends meet. We had a car broke down, we were walking to from work. I mean, it's amazing what God has done with us financially and trying to start our own businesses and then finally getting the one that has helped us to get to this point to where we are able to help out in Unstoppable like we have been. Mm -hmm. And every time we, you know, get paid or have money come in, my husband looks at me and he's like, here goes 10%, should we do 15? Let's do 15, <laughs> you know? We, we bumped it up to yeah. 15. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's, we're so excited about it because we're thinking, yeah, there are things we need to pay for, but honestly, it, it's, it's not our money, it's God's money. We're, what, a quarter of the way in to Unstoppable, and we've already, I mean, we had some pretty big ambitions. We kind of, we kind of were talking about it the night of uh, Commitment Night, mm -hmm. and we kind of picked something that, that I think my wife was like, whoa, <laughs> but then we even went higher than that and, and really, fit, you know, felt convicted to do, to allow God to, to use us as vessels to, to be able to bless others. You can't outgive God. No, I mean, we've already hit. I think we're at 33% of our of our goal already. So we should be able to exceed um, that by a long shot. Mm -hmm. So just amazing things God's doing in our lives, you know, through Unstoppable. I think the challenge um, for us is just yeah, not having a steady paycheck, but as long as we're tithing and, and having that, that giver's heart, God always provides, God always comes through. You know, step out on faith and believe that God can do more through you than you can try and do yourself. That's the one thing that we try and, you know, always pray about is, you know, God, please, you know, use us to bless other people. Just for us to be a vessel so that we can bless other people because that's what it's all about at the end of the day is it's not just us and our family and like Drew has said recently it's just our corner of the world yeah. but who else outside of our little bubble or corner or whatever you want to call it who, who can we bless and who can we help you know as we go through this journey of life.